Hi, it's Sarah here from Crafting and Stamping and I'm back with another quick card. And for my quick card today, I'm using some ready-made cards and envelopes. These are great for doing quick cards uh, any time of the year. These ones are Santa Express Memories and More cards and envelopes and you get 20 cards and 20 envelopes. Um, so you're getting 10 each of two different designs. So I've used some of these on a different type of card before. Uh, what we get are these cards. So we've got one that's red on one side and spotted on the other. And of course, you can use whichever side of this you want to use. And then we've got this one that is um, sort of a shaded spruce with like a water spatter effect on it. And you get the matching envelopes for both. So they're great. Um, these are just a little bit larger than um, the sort of A6. These are a, a, a different sort of size. And they end up being six and a quarter by four and a quarter. Um, so they can be used with the Memories and More card pack, but that's not what I'm doing today. I'm doing a different style of quick card. And what I've done is cut strips of card. I've gone with basic white, poppy parade and shaded spruce, which are these sorts of colours here. And I've just cut this to six and a quarter by, what was it, one and three quarters. Um, and then this one's six and a quarter by two inches. And this one's six and a quarter by two and a half inches. So that these are going to layer up. We're going to sort of um, just layer these up and then put them on the front of our card. Uh, so these will go on like this. I'm going to choose the patterned side. Now I'm going to do mine as a tent fold, so I'm doing it this way around. But you could just as easily pop this on here that way around. So if you have got some small greetings, some, uh, you know, little, little greetings, then you could stamp them in different colours all the way down. I'm going to go for this one with the Christmas greetings. I'm using the Trees for Sale set. Um, let me just get my mat. So I'm going to use the Trees for Sale and I'm going to stamp my Christmas greetings in Poppy Parade to match my card. And I will get this around about central. So I want to go kind of in the middle. Uh, just make sure that it's around about. And then I'm going to grab my tree and I'm going to use soft sea foam for the first layer. This is just one way that you could stamp this. So I'm going to grab the tree and stamp it in soft sea foam. And I'm going to put one on that side. And then I'm going to ink it up again and put one at the other side of my sentiment. So we'll have that there like that. I'll peel that off and pop the next bit on. And I'm going to use shaded spruce, our other green, and just stamp this over the top. So I'm going to pop that in the middle there and stamp it and do the same here and stamp it. And I'm actually now just going to finish with these baubles. They might be baubles, they might be something totally different, but I'm using them as that. 
and I'm back to my copy parade for these. And again, I'm just going to stamp over the top. I kind of want them to go as much as possible where the um, dark green isn't because I want them to stand out. If they're on the dark green, then they'll not stand out quite so much. So try and pop them to one side. Um, that's not too bad. You can see them. I'm getting your inky fingers, I'm trying to shut my ink pad. Right, so let's just put that to one side. And now all we need to do to finish our card is layer these up. So let's move these out of the way. I'm going to pop this now on here. And like I say, if you want to do it as a vertical, works just great. And you can use just sentiments or you can use sentiments and images as I've done here. Just pull, take that over and press again. And then we're going to adhere this one to the shaded spruce layer. And I'm going to put this on flat. You could pop this up on dimensionals. And I've just kept this open just because I find it a little bit easier to work with it totally flat. And I'll use my grid paper behind to check that that's about straight. And then we can just Fold that over and there is our card and I'm just going to add, when I can find them, I've got some little embellishments that I'm planning to add to the top of my tree here and found them. So I'm using the um, gold adhesive back swirls that these are just out for a limited time. These are part of the Fitting Florets collection and I'm going to pop one of these onto the top of each tree to finish it off. Uh, they don't add very much bulk at all so these are, are great for, for that. And there is our finished card. So that is our quick card for today and of course we've got a, an envelope to go with it so that's all ready to go nice and quick for doing um, batch card making and of course you can easily switch this and make it uh, a summer greeting uh, it doesn't have to be Christmas great for all year round so please do subscribe to my channel below to see a quick card every Monday and a quick tip every Friday thanks for stopping by